are back with Dame Julie Andrews and her daughter Emma. Welcome, Hamilton. They are speaking at the Barbara Bush Literacy Foundation Power of Literacy Luncheon today. They are the authors of Homework, a memoir of my Hollywood years. All right, uh, as I said, Dame Julie Andrews. Okay, at first, uh, most guests actually drink out of cups like this right here, right? Just a regular, well, that's exactly yeah, the kind of cup I love. Great Day Houston cup, but we said we she's have a dame, so we are getting out the <laughs> bow in China. <laughs> gotta lift your pinky, yes. Deborah. Yes. Yes. Gotta lift pinky. the pinky oh, up. Oh, wait, there we go. Yeah, let me get my pinky up. There we go. Yes. And yes, I am a tea sip. I went to the University of Texas at Austin. We'll explain that later. Okay. Um, I mentioned blended family. So, and when you get into this book, what I love about it is that I feel like I'm sitting at the table with you having a conversation with you. Oh, you It's nuts, how it's lady. written, though. Thank it, you. It, it, it's, it's, I feel like I'm right there. I grew up with you, Emma. You don't know this, but I did. <laughs> all right. Um, all kinds of things about your personal life, like a blended family. Never easy, especially when you're on the road and traveling Not so at all, no. And I think as a mom, as long as your kids are all right, you can do anything. But I envy any mother that has a job and keeps a, a family together. I think this lady yeah. knows what I'm talking about. Jennifer and Jeffrey. Yeah. And Emma, what was that like for you to all of a sudden have there's some new people? <laughs> well, you know, the bizarre thing is that I've actually occupied every space on the birth order chart right. spectrum. Yeah. So I, I was the only, youngest. and then I inherited two older step siblings, and I was the youngest, and then I became the oldest on my dad's side, and then the middle when, when they when adopted. the two little so, ones came yeah. along. Yeah. 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 I've you, been you everywhere. Adopted two children from Vietnam. Yes. And during a very crazy time. Yes, it was. There's one of them. Aww. That's Amelia. And little Joe is there. Yeah. There she is. And you had to do a race against the clock, because at that time, Vietnam was falling. It was falling, yeah. yes. It was a fast. That would be a whole book on its own. Yeah. Uh, yeah, really. All right. I you, wish I had enough time to write about it. I, I, I mean, we'll in find there, the but it, it, yeah. it would have taken another whole book, I think. Um, the operation that you had to have uh, to remove some nodules. No, no, you got it, it wrong. It, okay. Deborah, it wasn't nodules. Um, it, it, people thought it might be, but it okay. wasn't. And the truth is that I'm not really allowed to talk about it much, okay. am I? Nope. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not, we actually don't deal with it in this yeah, book. Yeah. No, yeah, it's, it's much, much later than this book yeah. that it happens. But in fact, there was an operation, and it unfortunately was not successful. But I didn't have nodules, okay. and... Um, more like scar tissue. Yeah, more like um, the striation that comes from a lot of Broadway singers who sing so hard for so long. Right. It's like hopping on a knee for a right. long, 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 long time. And you get kind of striated tissue, and it, it hardens. And I, in a way, that's what was happening. It was a little bit more than that. Yeah, but. yeah, all right. Um, in writing this book, how did you discuss how you would do this book because of the style of it and, and why you wanted to do it? Well, darling, why don't you begin? Well, it's lovely that you, <laughs> <laughs> it's lovely that you say it sounds like I'm having a conversation mm -hmm. with you because, because in fact, did, that's very we? much the way we wrote the yeah. book. Um, it was a lot of conversation of my interview. We had a huge timeline that we made to refer you to. You made. That, uh, <laughs> Um, and I would say, tell me about, you know, the night when such and such happened, or tell me about this yeah. event, and she would talk, and we'd record it, and then transcribe those and convert it to narrative. And so. what I can only imagine is so cool about this, with a mother and a daughter, is that there are things that you found out about her that you might not have known, or little situations, and vice versa. Th through the eyes of you, through the eyes of you, how each other uh, looked at certain it's situations a great as well. What we've written so often together. Yeah, we, I mean, we've been collaborating as yeah, co-authors on children's books, on children's yes. books and also on the first memoir, and this is our 32nd book together. Yeah. Um, so we do have a kind of shorthand, and, and I have to say there weren't really any great surprises or revelations yeah. that I didn't know. Um, but of course, surprises of see things a little differently. Yeah, yeah, and because most of this happened when I was a child, and so my memory of it is different than exactly. her memory yeah. of it. And but and I couldn't have even begun to do it without without Emma's help, because her encouragement and her steadfastness and mom you will get through it and I'll see that you do. And, uh, <laughs> she kept saying, we're never going to finish. We're yeah. never going to finish. Yeah. Said, yes, and we will. You get out of a book what you also helped to bring we to it, right? We also put together, a, I'd kept from about 1965 some really extensive diaries and you you went through every single page of those. We and, did, yeah. And, and we, we took what was necessary, those, we yeah. felt. It was very, it was very moving. It was a very moving experience. Well, at times was, we had a few tears, yeah. didn't we? Uh, it took about almost three years. Yeah. 
All right, we have, uh, as I mentioned earlier, some students in the audience who would like to grow up and be a you one day, right? Yeah. right? So we're gonna start with Corey. Good morning, Corey. I'm actually oh, you're not, not a student, I'm not you're a student. teacher. <laughs> you're that teacher, uh, yes. First and foremost, this is such an honor. Uh, you have a number of theater teachers here uh, today that oh. um, you are like the, the rock of our being where we are right now. And uh, I guess one of the questions that I wanna ask is we're every day trying to guide creative, compassionate, mm -hmm. Um, confident theater students, who was right. someone in your life that impacted you in such a way? Oh, <clears throat> I've been really hugely fortunate to have such mentors along the way. Uh, the very first mentor I had was my singing teacher, and I was lucky enough to um, uh, meet her when I was like nine years old. And at that time, she said to my parents, it's lovely, the voice, but bring her back to me in about three years. Let her be a child for a little longer. But my voice grew so quickly and so strong that she did take me back almost within the year. And I stayed with her for many, many years, and she was the one that taught me about diction and the words and words holding your voice true. And um, But then Moss Hart. And then uh, going to My Fair Lady, Moss Hart was... Uh, the director of My Fair Lady, the famous Moss Hart. If no one has ever read Moss Hart's biography called Act One, I beg you to do so. It's one of the great biographies about the theater. And uh, he writes so beautifully, and he was a dear man, um, funny and tough and, and yet uh, so kind. And he saw something in me, he knew I was floundering in My Fair Lady, but he saw something in me that he felt was worth working with. And uh, we did work very hard together, but he pulled me through. Yeah. Can you think there of anybody else? Questions. You have yes, to I know. get okay. to other Can questions. Anna? Mm. Hi. Hi. Um, Tell us where you're a student at. I'm a student in the HSPVA, and we just finished up our production of Mary Poppins. Yes. So that's how we look like Bravo. that. <laughs> um, and my question was, do you prefer film acting or live theater? Mm. Um, it's hard to decide. You, you know, live theater, you're full figure the whole time. Uh, it, you start at the beginning, you finish at the end. Uh, uh, and film, you get that immediate response. And you get that really lovely response, with, which is the best part of, is giving to an audience. But, but also the wonder of film is that you can shoot out of sequence, and you do so often. But um, you do have a chance to do it over and over again. You have to hold the whole film in your head because you don't know where you could start in the middle and finish it you know, yeah, yeah. at the beginning. And you have no idea what happened until you see it all really put together. That's right. right? You're you like, oh, that's what that was. You've made the right choices. But there are so many people helping you that care, the director of photography and lighting man and, and uh, your director, of course, of the movie. Yeah. And that was another mentor, was Robert Wise. Yeah. 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 All right, Francisco. Hi, good morning. Good How are morning. You? Um, so I have a question about if you have any advice for any upcoming actors today. Just I do. What your thoughts are. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Very, very <laughs> simple. <clears throat> and it is that if you're as lucky as I have been, uh, opportunities will pass under your nose when you least expect them. And uh, if you're passionate about what you do, work hard, but you never know when that opportunity is going to come your way. So I say to everybody, so do your homework, be ready. <laughs> yeah. And that's really part of the title of the book is that the homework is, it's everything from home and work as it hit me, but also doing my homework and learning about myself because you never know when that amazing moment might just float by and you can, you can take that opportunity. But if you're not ready for it, so do your homework. Yeah, the other advice is when you know the notes to sing, you can sing most anything. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Deborah, so, you know, Deborah. Deborah. <laughs> you know I, okay, I'm gonna go back. I to would the, add to that, actually. <laughs> well, I'm just gonna add to that, yeah. to what she said, because I, I started as an actor for many years, and my, one of my great mentors was the great acting teacher, Herbert Berghoff. And he used to say, never mind the talent, do you have the tenacity? 
And that's sticking with it, even through the disappointments, yes. even through the rejections, even through the hard, hard work. You know, hang yeah. on to the tenacity. So many people look at the end, and you cannot win everything. Nobody right. yeah. wins it all. I mean, uh, uh, that sounds like an odd thing when you look at how fortunate I've been. But it's all a graph: the, the movie industry, theatre. Uh, some are wonderful, some are flops. And you just have to go with it, but it's part of a life. And that's what we see in this book. You know, yes. we can put people on pedestals and make them perfect, but you went through some stuff, but you made the best of it. I wanted to show and just the, the, the thing that I took away from having written the book is the stunning realization that I, I had really worked hard. Yes. <laughs> yes. And um, it, although it was wonderful, it was really hard. Talk work. about tenacity. I yeah. mean, this is right? a perfect example. Right? Yeah. This is it. What is it you want to do next? What is it you want to do next? Is there a next? What are we going to do next? What are we going to do Besides next? Besides the luncheon. We today. actually, yeah. We're, yeah, yeah, we yeah. are developing a podcast right now um, oh, celebrating next children's year. books and literacy, and that'll be announced in the spring. It's for American Public Media. Awesome. Um, we have two more children's books under contract that we must, must get to. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so we've been ignoring for a couple of years. Yeah, we have. Um, yeah. We have run out of time. I think it's time for me to say so long, farewell. <laughs> I'll be the same to you. I don't know if I pronounced that right, but That's anyway. She, she <laughs> sings really <laughs> well, though, yeah. doesn't she? I just want to say thank you so much. And you said it best. I mean, this is like a, a jewel and a grand moment oh, for a lot, of, a lot of folks who grew up Good luck to every single one of you and hang in there and, and give, it, give it to the audience. That's the important give thing. Give the gift. Give thank the you, gift. Julie Andrews and Emma. Thank you so much. You can find Julie and Emma's book, Homework, A Memoir of My Hollywood Years, wherever books are sold. Thanks so much, I Deb. don't want you to leave. <laughs> <laughs>